I'm Rachel. I'm Trinity. And we are Two, two Honest, Honest Beauty. Beauty. And we are two beauty lovers here wanting to share it all with you guys. We decided to start this channel a while ago because our lives truly are consumed with beauty products mm -hmm. and doing makeup and skincare and just all the things. We listen to podcasts, we watch YouTube videos. Um, all and the beauty stuff. All the beauty stuff. And we really wanted to bring a channel that kind of brought it back to its roots, its original days of reviews, honest yep. reviews, and tutorials, and just really enjoying the products yeah. that are out there on the market. So we're actually going to first start off with the Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, we're going to be doing a different product every month and throughout that course we're going to be showing you all the looks that you can get. Um, today we actually did our looks today off of the Jaclyn Hill palette. So um, you'll actually get to see us do our whole routine and kind of talk about everything. One of the things that Trinity and I talk most about is um, that there are so many beautiful products out there, but they're money, you know? And yeah. so in order for us to spend our money on something, we really have to think about it. And so what we wanted to do is instead of getting one palette and showing you one look and then the next video is a whole other palette with a whole other look, we wanted to show you, okay, you're going to spend $38 on this palette and this is everything you can yeah. do with it. From All of it. Uh, day looks, night looks the no makeup make lip looks, but you want to look like you're wearing some really pretty yeah. makeup looks, all of it. And so we are going to use every single color all in the this palette. Wait, I'm excited. I'm super it's excited. It's going to be great. It is going to be great. So if you like us, you think you might want to hang out with us for a little bit, you want to see how to get these looks with the Jaclyn Hill palette, keep on keep watching. watching. All right, so right now um, I have very red skin, as you can probably see in the camera. So right now I'm using the Ren. Clean Skincare Ever Calm Anti Redness Serum. Mm -hmm. Now she can attest, like this has really transformed my skin in a matter of three weeks, a couple of weeks, not yeah, even a month. So. Yeah, I don't. I hope that you can see that. If not, I'll link it down below. But if you have red skin, like I do, real sensitive skin, this is it. I got it at Sephora, and then I also wait for that to dry, and then I put on the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. I said that weird. Sorry. Um, I love this because it's not, it's the water gel, and so it doesn't, it's not real creamy like normal moisturizers, and it works better with the humidity down here in Texas and with my um, foundation. I just started using the e.l.f. Luminous Matte Primer. She literally just bought that a couple of days ago. Yeah, we so, I mean, so far I like it. We'll see. I think I needed to keep using it a couple more weeks to actually tell. One of the biggest mistakes I made when I was getting started, and I always read this, I had really a really oily T-zone. Mm -hmm. And everything I read was don't use oil-free stuff because it tricks you, it like dries out your skin and then your skin overproduces oil. That's the whole reason why you are oily because you, your whole right. skin is dry. And so like a good part of my adolescence was spent finding, with, it's like counteracting yeah. everything I was doing to my skin. And yeah. once I finally just started using like combination stuff it and helps. like powdering my nose, oh yeah, it helped a lot. Same here. I didn't know what I was doing mm -hmm. when I was younger. No, girl. No idea. No, me neither. Me neither. Tell them what you do with this because I think that's really cool. Ooh, okay. So since I am oily, I set my face first. So I will use a setting spray all over my face and then I will bake my face. And so while that is baking, I'll do my eyes and then after that I'll take off the powder and then actually put my foundation on and it helps kind of take away the oils that have already been sitting on your face so you're not putting makeup on an oily face more like a like a set I have found, I don't know how to describe that I watch a lot of beauty youtubers and I've never seen anybody do anything like that I think that's really cool in beauty youtuber yeah. lines and normal lines it's like there's uh, so many like normal brands I know it's kind of overwhelming and I love the beauty industry it and I'm like oh. it's like every time you read about something cool happening Another three other things yeah. yes three other cool things are happening and I don't know if this is intentional but it's like they all do the same thing at once like everyone comes out with some kind of concealer either like a make or a color corrector or yeah. a concealer everybody comes out with powder everybody comes out with like lip Highlighter. gloss yeah. highlighters yeah it's like are those like seasonal things that we don't know Can about? Can I mix it up? Maybe I want a little this, little that. I do want a little of this I and a know. little of that. I don't want to wait a whole year to get <laughs> Me neither. All the things. I'm just going to wear highlighter for a year. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Glowing up. Fitting with our using something for the, you know, entire month or whatever. We're going to start with this today. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. Do something. I know. Fun. Are you going to do what you did the other day? No. I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay. Day. 
I'm, I'm just gonna, gonna let my hand go. Okay, you can do that. You're an artist. I think. What do you think? <laughs> okay, well, so right now I'm just gonna set my eyelid. And I am going to set my eyelid using shade in light, which I think is like, I think even on her makeup video, she says like, that's basically what that color was created for. Yeah. Cause she's the one that taught me to set it with a, um, eyeshadow color and not necessarily a like, like a powder. powder. Uh huh. Really? Yeah. She, well, I mean, she was the first one that I saw do it. I don't know if that was like her thing or not, but yeah. uh, Jacqueline Hill is one of the first beauty YouTubers I've started watching. And uh, she's the one that actually taught me how to do that. It's red. You know what? I ain't doing nothing today. And it's Memorial Day, so it's red, white, and blew it up. Ooh, ooh, Jacqueline. Okay. Yeah, her red is really pigmented. Uh, you should have said that three seconds ago before I smeared it on the <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Too late! It is too late. We going with it. Oh. <laughs> Do you know that one thing her and I, Trini and I, have got, been kind of talking about is, um, so there's a lot of palettes out there that truly aren't going to work with what we're trying to do. Yeah. Every palette we're going to buy is in review for y'all over the course of the month. It's going to have to have, like, the neutral section, the fun section, and, like, everything in between. So one thing we were talking about is, like, some palettes that we really like and wanted to play with, like the, um... What's the one by BH that we were just talking about? Oh, Take Me Back to Brazil. It's a gorgeous palette. Yeah. But truly, I just don't think that we would be able to do you justice with that. Yeah. Um, other than just kind of playing around with it in other times. So any time that we actually don't use Jaclyn, we will um, link it and make sure that you know that this did not come from, or whatever palette we're reviewing that month. But um, we promise to use every single color in this over the course of the month. Yeah. And uh, honestly, like a lot of these, a lot of this section, this L will probably be used multiple times, but then also how to incorporate things like this. But one thing that her and I have been talking about when we decided to start this channel was, was honesty to honest beauty. Yeah. Right? Like we want to be honest with, so you always set with like a light color. Light yeah. Like color. almost like skin color to me. I usually set with, like silk cream, which is this? No, yes, silk cream. I always set with that one. I'm scared to set with and lighten because it's like so. Well, don't I only set with it because it's like my skin color. I need to wait. Sorry. Neutralize and darken this up. I'm gonna go in with this more like bricky shade. It is Roxanne. That's cute. Makes me want to sing that song. Rocks. I like that color. To like all right, all right. I am going in now with mocha. I'm apparently going real dark today. Mocha. I'm not even saying what colors I'm using. That's okay. Okay, so after I set my eyes, I used. Ooh, I just realized my mouth was open. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. I used pooter. <laughs> this one right here. And then I went in with a little darker color, and I believe it's called Burns, which is this one. This one's probably my favorite color out of this whole palette. It just, it's a good transition color. And next, I'm going to actually darken my outer corner, and I'm going to use this brown called Chip. Alright, now I'm just going to take a clean brush and kind of... Soften up. Is that edge is a bit harsh. Ooh, I hate that. Yeah, I do too. Especially when you're in a rush. You're... Oh my gosh, what crazy color did I go in with? You don't remember. Mocha. Mocha, right? Mocha. I said, I said you the said word. mocha. Lord help us. How many of y'all do that? Like you're in it and you're just like chilling, hanging out, and then you're like, oh crap. What I do, do that I all I do the time. too. When... So we talk about this all the time. So. I know there's like a movement right now saying, so there for a while it was like, you need five or six shades to make these beautiful eye looks, right? And then now people are more so going towards two, maybe three, yeah. right? I love I, the way a look looks, an eye look looks with five shades, yeah. five to six shades. I think it's beautiful. And I feel extra, color. but it just goes well. It blends so better. But then you like catch yourself in the mirror and you're like, <sighs> just hello. Okay, I'm at a loss. I don't know what to do now. What color? Let me see. Close your eyes. Okay. Don't do golds. 
What about this color? You think that would be color? too much red? No. We're going to try. Okay. So usually, especially when I have this going on, if I just tried to put that on, it probably wouldn't be really truly the look I'm looking for. So I'm going to put a couple of dots of my concealer on the middle of my lid, and then I just blend that out. Should have found the blender I used before I one eyed it. And uh, that way, like, it just sticks better for me, and I think that the look is overall better. I think my favorite part about putting makeup on is the blending. Mmm, that's interesting. I think it's just so fun. What's your favorite part? I like creating different eye looks and stuff, but sometimes with the blending, I'm like, oh, is it over yet? <laughs> I just wetted, wetted, wet, made wet, my brush. I just <laughs> used um, the Wet n Wild Finny Natural spray. Okay. Sorry, go ahead. I am going to put twerk, twerk on, that's the blue one, on my lid. I just sprayed my brush, which by the way, I can't go back to not spray my brush when I use like sparklies. No sparklies, shimmery. <laughs> uh, that's better, yeah. Sparkly shades. <laughs> I like a little sparkle in my life. Mm, this is going to be great. Oh, I didn't even tell y'all. On the lid, I decided to go with firework. How fitting for Memorial Day. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I'm going to move on. I'll probably go back and clean this up afterwards, but right now I'm just going to leave it alone where it's at, and I'm going to start doing the rest of my face. And I am going to make sure, of course, the one time I started out with my eyes, I had zero fallout. Thanks, Jacqueline. Appreciate you. <laughs> okay. So. so, I decided that I wanted to do a color in the middle of my lid, so I left that blank. While she is doing that, I'm going to go ahead and start doing my base. And I am right now using the Healthy Foundation, um, fa uh, the Healthy Foundation from Physicians Formula in LN4. So I am loving this for summertime because it's really lightweight, but it still has pretty decent coverage. The only thing I don't like is the smell and the applicator is a doe foot, which at first I was like, man, that's really cool. I don't love it. Okay, so I am putting pool party in the middle of my lid. Oh my gosh, you're going to look like a mermaid. I'm so excited. You're going to look like a little pretty mermaid. I'm gonna go in with my concealer. Okay, I'm gonna go back with a little more of this twerk and kind of blend in the party and twerk. Twerk, 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 twerk. I've been thinking about this whole time. Okay, thank you. Okay, that's good. Okay, okay so I still kind of want it to be a little more shimmery in the middle of pool party, so I'm actually going to add Obsessed. A little bit in there just to get a little more brightness. I do this all the time when I'm getting ready for work. I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna do a simple eye and then I'll get myself going. And then I could probably <laughs> count on okay. one hand the amount of times I've ever seen her do a simple eye. I know. Her, don't get me wrong, her eye looks are gorgeous. I just, I don't. Gorgeous. I get carried away. But she. So we get up at the same time every day because we start talking right when our alarm goes off. We get up at the same time every day. I get up because I have a five-month-old to take care of and I have to make sure he's all good to go and then I'm good to go and get to work. She has her. <laughs> and she, yeah, that's what she does. But, I mean, whatever. You love it and I think it's cool because you're super talented. It's just so much fun. It is so much fun. It's a lot of fun. All right, I am going to set my under eye using the L'Oreal Hydra Perfect Loose Powder. And then on the rest of my face, because I only do that under my eye. Easy killer. On the rest of my face, I'm going to go in with the, um, this is the 8L, the Morphe Highlight and Contour Palette. And then I just set the rest of my T-zone using Literati. Okay, so I'm going to actually start doing my liquid eyeliner now. Um, I use the NYX Matte. 
I do not bake for very long just because uh, my under eyes do run a little bit drier. I really just do it to get like some of my fine lines. Um, so I only maybe a minute, two tops. Dang, I bake for like eight minutes if I can. She bakes for like two hours. She can make a cake and I sometime. could. <laughs> she bakes her face, she bakes some cookies. So I'm uh, now gonna go into my contour, the St. 8L palette. And I'm going to go in with Donut, which is that one right there, just to kind of contour the outskirts of my face. When it's a day that I'm like in a hurry or I'm just going to go to work and don't really care that much, I usually just do this stuff with just a bronzer. I don't really go into the whole contouring bit. I can't believe there was ever a time that I never bronzed and or contoured my face. I, I know. literally just have it's powder so and foundation weird. and go. And it's now I'm so like, weird. I look like a ghost. I need color. I need color on my face. And I don't even contour that much. Like, I don't do my nose. I really just kind of contour, like, my cheekbones and, like, Yeah, just kind of warm it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what else I don't use? And I know it's, like, a big thing right now. It's making its comeback. It's blush. I've never oh, liked really? blush. Uh-uh. I don't. And maybe I've just never found, like... The right, the right one. shade, yeah. I think it's because I work so hard to get any sort of redness, redness out of my skin. Yeah. It's like counterintuitive to put redness back into it. So, this, I have had this in my makeup kit forever. You know what it reminds me of, like having this, is the like pink and green. Yes. That you, your mom yes. has. Yes. Right? I used to love that I stuff. I honestly I don't used it know for a that I too. loved it or if I just, but you know, I think a lot of us start off like that. We just use the makeup that our moms use. That's exactly how and so, um, I started off. Yeah. And so I remember having it, but I don't ever, like if it came out right now, I'd probably, no, I'd probably buy it. It'd be a little OG moment, but mm -hmm. I am. Um, pink and green is still out there. Is it? Yeah. See? Exactly. So mine is like, I really feel like I will have this in my collection for my entire life. And it's just the black one. I'm kind of like her. I don't really, I don't hate the shape of my nose. So I just kind of like go to the sides just to add a little warmth. But I don't contour my nose by any. Honestly, I don't contour my nose because I feel like I'm going to look like a really bad celebrity. Are you actually thinking of one? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. We're going to try real hard not to talk crap on this channel. Because we love the beauty industry, but man, it is crazy right now. So we just, we just try not to play with some makeup and watch on the sidelines. I am going to highlight using, I'm going to use Supernova, that color. So I'm going to go in with probably Roxanne, back to that color. I'm going to do some of that, and then I'm going to do a little of that darker color, the mocha. I very rarely use, I'll always use one of the lighter shades for my top lid, and like the darkest shade I use to do my under eye. I don't normally go outside of those two, unless I go with just like a darker under to kind of do like a shadow liner. Yeah. Okay. Now I will do my foundation. Let me get all this powder that's left on here. Ah. I use for my foundation Studio Fix by MAC in shade N35. NC35, which actually every time I go and get this, it's always wiped out. Oh, so like, it's like, dang. <laughs> I guess a lot of us have the same skin color. To line mine, I'm not going to go, I'm going to go with this darkest brown shade down here, Soda Pop, and that's what I'm going to use to line my lashes. Uh, so for my eyeliner today, I'm going to use Trendsetter by Morphe. Should have sharpened this before I ventured. And really, I know I have the black liner, or the, not the black, but that soda pop on. But I feel like when you add eyeliner, it kind of helps just keep it there all day. Yeah. Whereas, no, if I, I totally agree. Yeah, that. like if I went with just the shadow, I feel like halfway through the day, it looks a little bit more dull. Because that's eyeshadow, and it falls off, and you blink, and all kinds of stuff. So I feel like by adding the extra step of the eyeliner, you, always, you have that smoky look all day long. 
Okay, I put my foundation on. I'm going to put concealer underneath my eye, and I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape Light Beige. Uh, I'm going to start doing my brows using the Revlon Color Stay in Soft Brown. This is my jam. Okay, so I'm going to set my face using my Milani. Nope. Mm. You have it over there. Well, oh. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to set using my Milani and then I'm going to finish my eyes. Do my lips, and this one is done. Um, so I'm not super. I've never worn them before, and so I'm not fake. Fake eyelashes, yeah. Um, and so I curl my lashes, and I use two different kinds of mascara. So yeah, I probably should just join the lash game at this point. But um, it works for me. I don't and think I've ever. Well, I've it's curled my eyelashes, but do you do it without mascara? Because I did it with mascara on. I always do it without. Is that for bad to do it with? I don't think so. Mascara? I think you just do it differently. But, um, and I'm just, I don't know. I don't, I like my natural lashes. Like, they're not super long by any means, but they fit my face, I feel like. And it's terrifying when you hear these people and they're like, oh, yeah, I've just been using them so much that my, my eyelashes are getting pulled out. Yeah. I don't want my eyelashes to get pulled out. Or you see out. those videos of them curling it and it rips all of their lashes out. Yeah, that's oh, scary. so scary. So I will just, for the time being, continue down this path. So the first one that I use is the CoverGirl the Super Size. I didn't think I would like this one because the applicator is real it's weird. weird. But I'm amazed at how like well it goes on. So it's almost like the base to my eyelashes. Oh. I am using, oh, this is an old palette so don't judge me please. Um, it's the BH Contour Blush Palette. I don't really use any of the colors except for the really, really dark color. This one right is here. Is there not a darker color that you can get where the whole thing would be there darker is, for you? There is, yeah. Oh. But, I mean, I'm not out of this one, so I want to buy a new one. Oh. Okay. When I still got some product. Agreed, agreed. And then, I already talked about this one, but the next one I go in with is the L'Oreal Voluminous. 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 Have you always used two? Uh, no. The, eh, I mean, I have for a while, but no, not always. No, I've, I've used two for a really long time. Yeah, no, not forever, but it's been, it's been a minute. I've been known to use three sometimes, honestly. I don't blame you. I mean, at that point, you're just stacking, like, product on product on product. Yeah. But with mascara, it kind of works. Yeah. You know? Yeah. These are just, like, my two go-tos. Like, my ev these are my everyday. Unless I have a day like yesterday where I'm doing, like, the no makeup makeup, then I'll only go in with that cover girl because yeah. it's just a little bit more natural looking. Okay, and then for lips today, I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go pretty nude since my eyes. I want my eyes to kind of be the showstopper, so I'm gonna go in with Morphe Virgin, and then I'm gonna top it with Milani Champagne Champagne. Is this supposed to be two champagnes? Yeah, it is. It is. I'm not. I got this. I got this. <laughs> so that is what I am going in with today. Keep it real nude. So I also use the Studio Fix MAC powder, and I use this in the same shade as my foundation, which is NC35. And I do use blush. Um, I use the Happy Girls Shine Brighter little palette from Tarte. It's really cute. Mine actually broke. What a cute name. Isn't it? Happy Girl Shine Brighter. That's yeah. That's cute. Mine broke, so one of the colors actually broke out, but it also has a couple of eyeshadows in it. It's like a per I put this in my purse all the time just in case something happens and I just need it. broke. Yeah. I dropped it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I have that. Now I'm going to bake my face again, and while that's baking, I'm going to do my bottom mascara and my corner and all that jazz. I'm going to go in with a little more highlighter because I can't think of a reason why not. When in doubt, highlight it out. That's cute. And as soon as my lip dries, I'm going to add 
my lip gloss and then my look is done. Dang. I know I really tried to prolong mine as long as I could waiting for you. Like I went so slow. I know. I I'm really so tried. I really tried. They're all over my eyeball. I really, really tried. I don't know why I'm so slow. Um, because your eyeballs take eight years. <laughs> they look phenomenal, but they take eight years. <sighs> and I'm still not done! Oh, Lord help me. So I'm just gonna sit here and wait. <laughs> I'm okay, so I'm putting this in light and color in my corners. <gasps> I didn't do my inner corner! Now you got something to do! I can't not highlight my brow. I don't highlight my brow, but I think I'm gonna highlight my inner corner today with gold instead of like a silver. Ooh, yeah. Is there kind of like a dark moment going yeah. on right now? Like oh, that. yes. Oh, I just got my eye. See? <laughs> me too. Let me see. I didn't even laugh at you when I have you. <laughs> yeah. Did you do wet your brush? <gasps> you didn't wet the brush, girl. I saw you in my mirror. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm doing, she's doing her inner corner with what? What are you in, using? In light. In light, and I'm doing my inner color with queen. Yes. yes. Queen. So I got a little crazy with the queen color. <laughs> so I'm going to try and I'm either going to have a massive under eye high, or corner highlight or... So usually I don't love to do things like that, but since I had a pretty significant under eye color in happening, it's pretty easy to, yeah, and good to go. All I gotta do is add my lip and my highlight, and I'm using Extra by Mophie. I am all about mixing lips. I do it all the time now. Me too. It's like I can't not. Well, you get like the, I think you get the best color though. I am using two lips today. I'm also going nude since I have blue on, and I'm using the Anastasia Strict Liquid Lipstick. I love this color. It's so nude. It can go with anything. And then I'm also putting a gloss in it by Fenty Beauty, and this one is called Fenty Glow. Dang, something's in my eye. Uh, probably your mermaid scale. Use the magnifying part. This is the magnifying part. Oh, it's oh not. Oh my god. And I'm done. Yay. All right. Now what? You look really pretty there. You too. Uh, I like your eye. I know it's so I different like for you. Eye. It is. It looks good, I really good, like though. it. It looks good. I think I might snatch your BH just for like a day or two because I know I'm going to see you in a day or two. Okay. And play with it and play with some colors. Yeah. Because I'm not a color person, but I really want to try. Real. Okay, so this was our first Yay! makeup tutorial. It was a lot of fun. I think it fun. went great. I loved it. I had a lot of fun. Yeah. I hope y'all liked it too. Um, yeah, so I'm Rachel. I'm Trinity. And we are Two, two Honest, Honest Beauty. Beauty. Bye guys. Have Bye. a great day.